Oh snap, Blaze is going live. Hey, good day, good day, good day, everybody. Good day, good day, good day. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining me. Just in case you're joining me for the very first time, I am your host, the one they call Brian Glaze Gibbs. I was once the problem. Now what I'm trying to do, I'm seeking to be part of the solution. How do I right my wrong? How do I share my life experience, my testimony, get these kids to stop picking up that brick, throwing at that prison wall for nothing, thinking that guess what, they can go out there and get rich, die trying. Only thing come fast is trouble, folks. Easy to get into, hard to get out. Easy to get into, hard to get out. Listen, Google Brian Glaze Gibbs. And right now, Wiz, guess what? There's all type of stuff that's out there. And you know what? I am not proud of the person that I once was. Right now, between the age of 14 and 24, I was a lost soul. I was lost. I was out there. I wanted to be down. I wanted to be cool. I did everything in my life from A to Z that I'm not proud of. I hated that individual because it took 15 years out of my life that I cannot get back. But guess what? I love who I am today, and it's only because of the grace of God, folks. Listen, a lot of times people went down that road, they didn't survive. They did not survive. But right now, today, what I'm going to speak about, I'm going to speak about a young man that did survive. Went through hell, but he did survive. Right now, I know him personally. Right now, Samuel Baby Sam Edmondson. You know what? God is good. This man got sentenced to 75 years to life. 75 years of life. And you know what right now was everybody counting him out. But guess what? He kept his hand in the hand of God. He kept his faith as smart as mustard seed in the hands of God. And look at it. Right now that man is one step away from gaining his victory, gaining his freedom. That means he hit, when he gets his freedom back, that means he would have hit Lotto, Powerball, Mega Million, Cash Five, Pick Four, Pick Three, all in one. Brooklyn judge tossed 1990 murder conviction a notorious crack dealer, Baby Sam Edmondson. Case was built by Roe NYPD detective Louis Casello. Folks, look at that right now. Here it is, they say a case was built by a Roe police officer. A notorious 1980 Brooklyn drug kingpin serving a minimum 75 years prison term on a double murder rap won a step towards freedom Wednesday when a judge tossed his conviction. Samuel Baby Sam Edmondson, who led a crack cocaine ring that netted millions in profit, was wrongly convicted in 1990 with evidence from a witness who say he lied on the stand at the urging a renegade NYPD detective Louis Scarcello ruled Brooklyn Supreme Court Judge Vincent Del Dicey. Edmondson, 61, of East New York, remained locked up on second degree murder and other charge for ordering the murder of his partner, Kenneth Rankin, in 1987, and another member of the drug trafficking organization, Willie May, in 1988. Del Guidos held a hearing in November at which a key eyewitness of Tudor Rankin murder, Keith Christmas, recanted, claiming that Garcello and his partner, Detective William Murch, urge him to fabricate his testimony folks look at that here it is right now is they urge him you know what i'm saying they bribe him they pay him and his recantation christmas claimed that scarcello and morris can hold it to tell of his presence at the rankin murder scene in order to win a conviction against edmondson Chris, christmas testified at the 1990 trial that he saw Edmondson at the murder scene talking to Rankin before another member of the organization blasted Rankin to death. It was just a fictitious story, Christmas testified last year. Christmas said that before the trial, Costello and Morris scooped him from jail and took him to a restaurant for food, then to the crime scene where they invented his story. He said they even brought him to the home of two women who he had sex with while the detective wait in another room. Man, Christmas incantation led Del Goatee to determine that Edmondson deserved a new trial. Christmas got a murder indictment dismissed in return for his cooperation in the Edmondson case and ended up with a two to four year sentence on related charge. Del Gaidosi ruling say 
the judge found Christmas more believable than a once venerated detective. Keith, Keith Christmas testified before this court, and this court found him to be credible, Dell got DC wrote. The benefit received from his cooperation at the time of the defendant investigation and trial by way of taking from Department of Correction custody to eat and engage in sexual activity as well as the minimum prison serve serve as sufficient reason for his fabricated test trial testimony. Scarcello, on the other hand, had a sector memory. Okay, the judge found in his ruling, the judge noted the retired detective convenient inability to recall certain facts while admittedly testifying to others in an attempt to boost booster his integrity. Detective Scarcella is incredible based upon his demeanor while testifying. His selective recollection and pattern of minimization of his role in the investigation under scrutiny, said the judge, in his nine-page decision, order focus on the Rankin murder. But he concluded that under a totality of the circumstance, analysts justified tossing Edmondson's entire conviction, including his involvement in the May homicide. Prosecutors still maintain that Edmondson ordered both homicides. I am fiberglass. I don't understand, Scott Seller told in Daily News about the judge decision. I just don't know where they're coming from. Once a celebrated hard charge and cigar chumping detective, Scott Seller is now better known for allegedly tainting evidence, misleading testimony, and falsifying confession and murder case. Since 2013, judge had thrown out more than a dozen cases Scott Seller worked on. The city and state government had paid tens of millions in damage to people wrongly convicted with the aid of evidence Garcella offered in their cases. The Brooklyn DA office is still reviewing numerous convictions in which Garcella played a part. Christmas self-proclaimed phony testimony landed Edmondson behind bar for more than 30 years. Edmondson had three high-ranking members and his crack was convicted of running one of the most feared gang in the city, which prosecutors say netted more than $20 million in drug proceeds in 1986 and 87 alone. Edmondson crack empire was so prolific that prosecutor at his trial blamed him for every defective baby born to crack addicted mother. Before his arrest, Edmondson was known to sport a $44,500 gold and diamond necklace that read, the world is mine on it and drove around the city and fleet a luxury car. He took over sole operation of his gang by murdering Rankin, who was his partner in crime, prosecutor alleged. Rankin was killed on South Oxford Street near Atlantic Avenue in Clinton Hill on June 30th, 1987 by another member of the gang while Willie May was shot dead on January 8th, 1988 on Montauk Street in East New York. His gang operated until 1988 and was brought down after a member of the group murder housing cop, Anthony McLean, in a Brownsville housing project. McLean was searching for a missing girl in the Tilden houses when he stumbled on a group of crack dealers. One of them fatally shot the officer, a three-year NYPD veteran. Christmas claimed that he only knew Edmondson for about 30 days in 1989 when he believed Edmondson ordered a hit on him to be carried out by Christmas' own childhood friend. A spokesman for the Brooklyn DA said the office is reviewing the judge's decision. They could appeal the judge's decision, retrial Edmondson, or drop the indictment altogether. Our hope is the district is that District Attorney Gonzalez dismissed this indictment in its entirety and delivered justice on a case that was not on his watch at his petitator, his leadership by decade. My offer will not rest until Samuel is delivered into his family arms as a free man, say Pierre Sussman, Edmondson attorney. Hey folks, look at that, man. Look at that. See, God is good, man. Like I said, I know baby Sam. I, I know baby Sam from back then. And like I said right now, sometimes your reputation, man, he had, you know, like I say, he had a hell of a reputation. But a lot of times right now is he was guilt by association. Because you're down with people or people are part of your crew. If they did things, guess what happened? You get blamed for it. It's no different right now when that cop got killed in Queens. When Edward Burns got killed, guess what? I didn't have nothing to do with it. But guess what? Because of my re reputation, because I'm supposed to be this Billy Bad ASS, guess what? They blame me for it. 103rd, 113, 75th. They felt if anybody had anything to do with it from the Lorenzo Nichols uh, organization, it was Brian Glaze Gibbs. And folks, that was not even the case. Sometimes your reputation can precede itself. And look what happened to baby Sam. His reputation preceded itself because of the individual that he was around. Look what happened. 
Here it is right now is, guess what? Come August 17, baby Sam can be a free man. Hey, brother. Hey, I wish you nothing but the best. God bless, man. Hey, folks, listen, man. When baby Sam get out, I bet you he'll tell you too, man. There's no shortcut in life and crime don't pay. Hit the like button, subscribe, share. Get your signed copy of the Beyond Lucky book by emailing me. Brian, B-R-I-A-N, Gibbs, G-I-B-B-S, 1201 at yahoo.com. If I can change, anybody can change. Could change come from fan. One love. Big day, big day. Went ahead and got my book, Beyond Lucky. BGG, Brian Glaze Gibbs. Signed, autograph, copy, means a lot to me. For my brother, day one support. Love and prosperity. Right back to you, my boy. My G, my big homie, my brother. Let's get it. Made Media Mafia Magazine exclusive. Mafia Apparel. Making the future in art. Making a difference every day. Still here. Let's get it. Free Meach. Rest in peace, baby blue. Whatever you My name K2, you know what I'm saying, man? Young cat trying to get my life together, man. This right here, a lot of knowledge, man. Strong mind. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Brian. Gifts. I love this book so much. I mean, I was a fan of your YouTube channel, but now I'm like a real up close and personal fan. I really love what you have going on here. And not only that, but I too was once lost and now I'm with them. So thank you, Brian, for this autographed copy. I appreciate you. Just got my copy of Beyond Lucky by Brian Glaze Gibbs. Thank you so much for sending me my personalized autographed copy. I've had the pleasure of knowing you for a long time, so I'm really excited to get to know some of your stories and what made you you and how this redemption came about. I know you're a changed man, and I'm looking forward to seeing the whole process of how it happened. Thank you. Have you checked your tire pressure today? I don't have a flat. Have you checked your blood pressure today? No, I don't feel sick.